here and we will go on to our next one. Lastly, we're going to deal with our post and pre decrement and increment operators. So when I run this program, it just returns the value of 7 in an alert box and then the value of 4. And then it confirms for us that the first value it gave us was 7 and the last one was 4 and then a 4. Let me show that to you again. It says 7, it says 4, and then it confirms first one was 7, second one was a 4. All right, so let's see what's happening in the code here with our post and pre increment operators. All right, first of all, we declare a variable. Two variables, in fact, a equals 5, b equals 2. All right, then we get to our decrement. This is a post decrement. So what happens is that it takes a, which is 5, adds 2 to it, which is 7, and then drops it, decrements it by 1. So that's why when we show a the second time, it shows a 4 because 5 has been dropped or decremented to 4. 5 goes down to 4. And this mathematical expression here, a minus minus plus b, is 7. Let's see that again. When we run it, it shows us a 7, shows us a 4, then confirms that we had 7 and 4. Now let's contrast this with our post increment. Here it says 7, 6. So this time uh, first a is a, a 7 and then we get a 6. So let's see what's happening with this code. All right, in this one, same type of thing, we set up our variables, 5 and 2 again, a and b. But this time we say a plus 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 b and then a. So this time, instead of post decrementing a, which is 5, it post increments it. And so the ending value that we end up with is 6. So it adds 5 to 2 first. And then it raises it by 1 and then returns a, a 6. Let's see that in action again. When we run it, it gives us a 7, gives us a 6, and that is true. All right, now let's go to our pre-decrement and pre-increment. All right, here we get a 6, then we get a 4, and so the first value is ended up being 6 and the second value ended up being 4. All right, so let's see what is happening here. All right, here we set up our variables, a equals 5, b equals 2. Now, by contrast, look what's happening. We've got a pre-decrement. So before it evaluates, it automatically drops 5 to 4 and then adds it to 2. All right, so that's why 4 plus 2 is 6, and then 5 minus 1 because of the decrement is 4. So you can see how that's happening before the mathematical expression runs. And so that's what we, we mean by is it a pre-increment or decrement or is it a post-increment or decrement? Let's run that again so you can see it in action. If I run it, first it gives us a 6, then it gives us a 4, and that was our pre-decrement. Now let's look at our pre-increment. Here it gives us an 8, then it gives us a 6, 8 and 6. So let's see what's happening here. All right, in this example, notice how we've got plus plus a. And so here, if a starts out being 5, it gets raised to 6 immediately because it's a pre-increment. Then it gets added to 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8. That's why we got an 8 with the first alert box. Then we know that the variable value of a has been raised to 6. All right, so that's a pre-increment. It, it raises it first, and then it performs the calculation as opposed to a post-increment, which would do it the opposite. All right, let's see that one more time. If I run it, we get an 8. It has already been raised, and then the counter or the variable is 6 that was incremented. Okay, 
So that is it for operators. And next, uh, we will have some information on loops. And thank you for watching educator.com.